Will you play Hans if the opportunity arises? Well, right now that's not in the near future for me. I think fortunately. Why not? Why not? Uh, well, because the, there's maybe only one tournament that I'm playing in that he could be playing in potentially, and it's not even set to be happening at the end of the year. There might be like a World Blitz and Rapid Chess Championship. Yeah. So I don't think I'm going to have to make that decision for what at least like six months. Challenge match. You're one of um, you're <laughs> the most famous super grandmaster in terms of online. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense in terms of chess is going through a kind of um, like a serious controversy. Since it's not just like um, the drama or something like this. This is in part an existential threat to the game in terms of how the public perceives the game. Yeah. So if, if the story that lingers from this is chess is full of cheaters, like you never know who is cheating or not, that's not a good, no. uh, that's not good for the game. So it makes sense for a high profile person to, to go has head to head. I mean, how, how do you think you do against Hans? I mean, I, I think I would, I think I would probably beat him in, in blitz and rapid classical is a whole different question altogether. I think in blitz and rapid, I would, I mean, one thing actually that was very telling in both the report and also Hans's interview for all the other stuff that was said is the one thing he did say and seemed very adamant about mm -hmm. was the fact that he had never cheated against me, which, uh, so that was the one thing he did say that at least according to the report was truthful. So it's something possibly down the road to consider. Um, yeah. But I, I do want to see what happens with, with everything else first, with Fide and their their whatever they they choose to do in regards to Hans and Magnus, um, and and then see where see where you know, the smoke stands. But I think also one other thing that is potentially very dangerous about the whole situation is that I'm not convinced that Fide actually has the ultimate say in this. In that the top players, if they if they feel that he has cheated over the board, even if there's a report that says he ha that Hans has not cheated, top players can still decide not to play him and sort of override whatever ultimate decision Fide comes to. So that's also why it's very unclear. Um, you know, this term of the US Championship, Hans qualified, he's playing the tournament, but beyond this, there are no turns where he's automatically qualified to. And so it also is on the top players to sort of have to reach some conclusion on their own separate of Fide. 